Priming is one of the most particular and critical processes when you load precision ammunition. In this video, we're gonna look at a suite of new priming tools, parts, and accessories from Duraco Engineering that have some unique functionality and bring value in a totally new way. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. When Duraco Engineering from Australia came out with their priming tools, I knew I had to get my hands on some of this equipment and try it for myself. And that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So Draco has PCPS, which is their premium priming system, it attaches to a reloading press, it allows precision depth control. There's also PCPS Lite, which functions in much the same way, but is a little bit stripped down with fit and finish and with features, but is available at a lower price point, right? So there's multiple options here. Duraco Engineering also has things like primer pickup tubes. They've got really cool shell holders that they manufacture that are compatible with Lee and Frankfurt Arsenal hand priming tools and all of the family of priming tools that utilize these shell holders here. They also have an adapter for the Forrester coax. So we're gonna show all of this gear. The next thing I'm gonna do is gonna be to get the PCPS and PCPS Lite out of the boxes so that we can see what's included. Okay, so here's PCPS. This is the fully featured priming tool. You've got the tool assembly itself, and then we've got some parts here. We've got primer sliders for small and large primers. The small parts are anodized, kind of this gold color. The large primer parts are anodized the green. You can see we've got the green uh, lower bracket installed. This is the small version for the lower bracket there. We've got the anvil, which replaces the shell holder and provides a bottom stop for the priming rod. And then this micrometer down here is going to allow us to adjust the primer seating depth. So this is a static depth priming tool. We've got some spare parts. We've got this nice storage bag. And then we've got the instruction manual. Okay, so that's PCPS. If we move over to PCPS light, it's essentially the same set. Uh, we've got a little bit more basic finishes here. We've got raw aluminum. We've got the laser engraving, the S and the L. It's nice how Duraco has labeled all of the parts, uh, but they're not anodized by color, so you're gonna have to look a little bit more intently to see which is which. And then the unit does not have a micrometer. In both cases, we have a spare parts bag, which is awesome. Uh, we've got all the parts for large and for small priming. Okay, so for the Forrester coax, the adapter kit for the PCPS includes a split die lock ring that also provides a tab to pull the unit out with, an Allen key for the lock ring. It's got a special anvil just for the Forrester coax with this little protruding boss that goes down into the the primer drop tube area, and then we've got two bushings, which we'll see go in place to limit the motion of the press. So this is a great selection of shell holders from Duraco. We've got 223, 762 by 39, which would also do cartridges like your 22 arc and six arc, that sort of thing. We've got 308, which covers a huge family of cartridges, 300 Win Mag, and 338 Lapua Magnum. Now these are available either separately or the complete set as a pack of five. Duraco also offers primer tubes in sets. What I have here is a set of one large and one small. You can see how it comes packaged here. The pickup tubes come with tips and then also an extra set of tips and clips plus an extra set of two clips. So with these tubes, you're definitely covered. Okay, so we've got the PCPS and we've got the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme. We're gonna get this set up for some large primer, 308 case rim priming. The first step is going to be to unscrew the main die body from the head, and then we're going to drop in the appropriate priming pin like that. 
and then screw this back on. Okay, now we're going to install the appropriate shuttle slide. This is large, since that's the size of primer we're going to be using. I'm going to take one of the top screws out here. And then loosen the other one so that we can rotate the plate out of the way. Then we're going to take the bottom bracket out. We're going to take the appropriate primer slider, the one with the L on it in this case, set that in place, put the shuttle block over that. This is going to kind of interlock and fit together. Now while we have this apart, we're going to drop in our 308 shell holder, rotate the top plate back into place, and screw it down. This is going to be a good time to attach the spring to the hook. Good to go on that part. Okay, time to put the priming tool, the appropriate parts on the press. I'm going to take the anvil and get that snapped into place, just like a shell holder. And then we're going to go ahead and screw the die down. We're going to keep cranking the die down until we can see a good bit of the micrometer down below the frame casting. So on this press, I like it right about there. And then we're going to orient this such that as we snug down the, the lock ring here, that everything comes into alignment just like that. I like that. So I loaded primers using an automated tube filler. That worked fine with this once I took the tip off. Pulled the pin, dropped the primers, and now we've got primers feeding when we push the tab here, right? And so what I've done is just to dial the micrometer so that as I pull the ram up, the primer is protruding from the top. Perhaps we will need to go a little bit deeper. I've got some 30-06 brass here. And so what we'll do is we'll just feed that and then go ahead and prime. You can feel that, and it's probably not gonna come out of the shell holder, correct, until we go up some. Still needs to go up. Okay, so we just had the brass come out of the shell holder. I can still feel that it's a little bit proud. So with whatever tool you like, you can measure your primer depth. Okay, can, I can start to feel that we're getting close now. Each of the clicks is 0 0.01 millimeters, so that's about four ten thousandths of an inch. So two clicks close to a thousandth of an inch, if you're used to thinking in those terms. And we can just dial that in. I'm going to go just a little bit more to whatever depth that we want, and that should be consistent. Now, note that if you have inconsistent rim thickness, that is gonna affect your primer depth. So if you do switch head stamps of brass, you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that your primer depth is correct. So I just did another feed there of a primer. Go ahead and prime the next case. That's pretty nice. priming real good. Just got 10 here to kind of do a, a trial run. Yeah, we've got plenty of leverage with the press to prime these cases consistently and nicely, and I can, I can feel them seat. That is working great. Okay, so I've got my Forrester coax out. This time we're gonna use PCPS Lite. We're gonna do the 223 shell holder. We're gonna prime some 
223 brass, so we're gonna use the small primer components there. And that means the first thing we need to do is gonna be to remove the top mounted priming system on the Forrester coax. Okay, so now that we've removed the priming system, we can take the priming tool itself, the PCPS light, and start to configure this for the small primers in the 223 case room that we're gonna be utilizing. Okay, so our main unit is set up. We've got the priming pin installed. Uh, now we need to do a few things on the press. First, we're gonna take the anvil and drop that into the shell holder. That's good. Now we've got two bushings, the red and the blue. The red is the short that's gonna go on first. This is over the spreader pin. And this is just going to limit press travel so that we don't have this handle interfere with the priming unit. Now we take the lock ring and we're just gonna engage this till we have a few threads of engagement and then this is going to pull up on the primer pin like that, push up on it from the bottom and kind of guide that into place. And I'm just making sure that nothing is interfering. That all looks good. So now we should be able to lock in the die lock ring because it looks like we have full travel there. Now the PCPS light is a little bit different in terms of how depth is achieved for priming. This is gonna be primed by feel. So we're gonna go down with the handle like this until we feel it bottom out and we'll give it a certain amount of crush force. So the con is we don't have static depth and we can't do thousandth adjustments. The pro is if we have brass with varying case room thickness, we're gonna be able to get consistent seating of those primers into the primer pockets. So I'm gonna go ahead and load some primers and then we'll do some 223 case priming. So this time I'm gonna use the Duraco primer pickup tube and we're just gonna do 10, I think. So I'm gonna keep it simple and just use a flip tray so that we can demonstrate the primer pickup tube in action the way that most people are going to use this. So we'll just go ahead and stab the primers. That's a really nice, easy pass through on the pickup collet on the plastic tip. I like that. They all, let's see, fell through. That one needs a little bit of help. Okay. Now we'll just go ahead and drop the primers. That's it. I'm going to get my 223 cases and we'll do some priming. So I've got my 10 cases here. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Oh yeah, that actually is really definite. You can really feel the primer, just feel the seating force and then feel it stop abruptly. I actually like that. Yeah, that is really cool. And we could switch between different priming heads here, the different tools, if we had one, say, set up for different case rim or different primer size, should work really nicely. Yeah, they're seating nicely below flush. Really short stroke, the way that this is set up. Boom, and done. Well, I hope this overview of the PCPS, the PCPS light, the adapter for the Forrester coax, and the shell holders, primer tubes, and other accessories has been really helpful because I always love to get my hands on with these tools and you know to try them in different configurations with different primer sizes and different brass. I feel like I have a good handle on these tools now, and I really like them. They present a great value. If you look at the price list, 
There are prices on the Duraco website that are in Australian dollars, and if you convert that to US dollars, you're looking at about $150 for PCPS and about $92 for PCPS Lite. That's as of the filming of this video. And if you compare that to other tools that perform a similar function, this is quite a deal in my mind. What I'd like to know is what do you think? Do you have one of these PCPS or PCPS Lite priming units? How is it working for you? What are you using it to prime? What are you shooting? Drop a comment and we'll continue the discussion down in the comment section. Also, if you click on that first link in the video description, it'll take you over to the article. If we have any special deals, we'll list them there. We'll have links to the appropriate product pages and more info for you. Thank you for watching this video. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're going to want to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. Thanks again for watching.